unfortunately, another week open for a, a highly anticipated... I'm excited about it. I don't know if anybody else is highly anticipating this episode, but I'm looking I mean, forward to it. Um, this is a freaking craps game of craps right now. We're just throwing dice. Uh, that's how I felt doing this anyway. So, Yeah, so this is our predictions podcast for Independent World... Uh, percussion WGI 2024 finals. Welcome to the H Doubt Podcast, everyone. I'm one of your hosts, Michael Fantini, and with me, as always, is Evan Wall. And do the whole comment, like, subscribe thing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Share it with anyone you think will also be angry about our predictions and want to interact with the video to give us crap. And after the season, when we're wrong on half of this, which we'll get into in a minute, feel free to come back to the video and give us crap again, or on Instagram, um, patreon.com slash H Doubt Podcast, or hit the join button right on YouTube if you want to support us financially. All right. You and I have no idea, like every year, with indoor and outdoor, what our predictions are ahead of this. Um, Correct. We do not know each other's orders. We have ranked everybody, 1 through 30, of the independent world groups for percussion that we think is how it, things are going to play out throughout the next week. This year was tough. Dude. This year was really tough. Like, I don't feel good about... Like my three through ten, I also don't feel good about like fourteen through twenty eight. <laughs> you know, I don't. Yeah, feel, I like mean, within the brackets or the tiers that we've called them on here before of the groups, like it's a crapshoot. And honestly, we talk on here, and I don't even know if I want to go get into this, but I've, after watching, so I spent this is Sunday, April fourteenth. Um, I spent pretty much the whole afternoon watching the most recent content I could find of everybody. Lot videos, show videos. We talk about on here all the time that the average of the activity is getting so much better. And I texted you, Evan, after I got done putting my list together and my rankings. I was like, dude, I think it might actually be a down year for Independent World across the board. Like, yeah, there's, there's really just... good standout groups, but... There are like really good things happening, but like yes. on the aggregate, it just doesn't. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of people not playing super great. Uh, yeah, you know, I uh, I do I not envy that. the judges at all that have prelims. We don't officially know. Like, I don't think we, you and I, don't know. They haven't announced who's judging prelims yet, have they? No. Yeah, so we don't know who's doing what caption. We don't know what that all is yet. Uh, we have the. That would honestly make this easier if I knew. It probably would, honestly, knowing <laughs> knowing would. the proclivities of the different judges and their specialties and expertise areas and everything. But it was a crapshoot. So I'm going to switch the screen. We're just going to get into this. And again, feel free to let us know how wrong you think we are or right you think we are. But I think I speak for both of us when I say we are probably going to be wrong. More wrong this year on average than we have been in any other indoor season we've done predictions for. I'm sure like, some of these are going to be very far off. There's a, a few groups that I just still couldn't find videos yeah, of. Yeah, there's so. a couple that there just wasn't anything out there. So it's like, I well, mean, we can't really do anything. I don't anything. even know how that's possible, but it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So let me switch to here and we'll get into this. Um, and it's not, I think what made it so hard, too, is like, I'm not saying that people are playing like terrible, but there's just a lot of inconsistency in the, in a lot of groups. Like, yes, that's a very good way to put it. It's not like it's like, oh my gosh, the activity is going backwards, but it's like there's just not anybody that like truly truly stands out that's just like I mean, it's rough. Yeah. A couple groups I will say are having good years. Mm -hmm. Historically for that ensemble are going to place we think higher than they typically do. Um, but I think yeah, we so, each uh, I do have a first time finalist. In I do list. too. And okay. I don't know whose yours is, but I bet it's probably the same group. But we'll get to that eventually when we get to the top 15. But starting out with 30th, what do you got? 30th place, uh, just because somebody's got to go there. Resistance. Couldn't find a video. I yep. think this group is also new. They got uh, reclassified or started in world class. I think it's their first year in world class. Uh, I, I just realized I need to zoom in more on this. So people can actually see. There we go. Bingo. Yeah, uh, yeah. Resistance. I use the same logic you did. I couldn't find anything. I haven't. I watched a couple of some of their things from last season, but groups can change a lot from year to year, so I didn't want to put much weight behind that. But just to remind me what group this was, I just put them here because didn't didn't see anything, hadn't seen anything. There's no way to really know 
this could very well they could get like 22nd for all we know and be like well we had no clue so no clue all right 29th rise percussion or rise and or rise whatever evan has rise and i have vessel we'll talk here let's get these like first five on here and then we can talk a minute if we want to so 28 uh 28 i have vessel okay 28 i have strike 27 red wave red wave i have rise and then 26 strike strike and i have audio theater in 26 some of these we're gonna have very different which is yeah kind of the, the the i feel like the bottom 10 we're gonna be all across the board one not a ton of content for these groups out there and so the curious one here that i want to talk about is red wave i have them obviously they're not in my bottom five i have them a couple places higher well, i'll just go ahead and put them where i've got them i have red wave in 24th and i have a reason so why do you have them where you've got them because it feels like a drop off from last season uh i mean i know they did go through some director changes and just organizational changes that i think are probably affecting some of the cohesiveness um this show i mean I'm, i don't want to call anybody's like baby or passion project out i just somebody had to be in 27th and i felt like that's that was them this year uh i mean so I mean, but <laughs> i mean that makes sense i would i would agree with you if i was going on just show design um i have them all the way up in 24th from a playing standpoint so whenever that's i had right. a group that i didn't really know what to do with them or how to compare them i just said all right how clean is your drum line like whose drum line is cleaner yep. try to determine that it's a very fairly good metric to gauge things on i found a lot video a recent lot video from red wave now granted standing still versus on the move on the floor i'm not a huge fan of their show this year i will say that kind of you already iterated that yourself that floor is hard to it's like stare at it's an for, interesting choice for a long time. it's an interesting choice so i felt like from the lot video that i saw they played better than the six groups i had below them at gotcha. least standing still in the lot so i said you know what i'm going to give them a little benefit of the doubt that they'll be able to play themselves a few places higher here but i totally understand why you could have them in 27th um all right let's keep going there's not a whole lot i feel like to say about these bottom five we yeah. could get this completely wrong nobody hate us it's kind of like uh, somebody will hate it it's fine I it's fine care. actually you know what do engage with the video and hate it <laughs> yeah, <that's really> <laughs> all right who you got in 25th uh gold gold oh you have gold a little lower than me 25th i have red line okay uh 24th i have mbi Okay. I have Red Wave in 24th. Who you got in 23rd? Red Line. Okay. I have in 23rd Blue Knights. All right. And then, and then we'll 22? finish out our prelims, I guess, yeah. finishers. 22nd, I have Thesis. That's exactly who I have in 22nd. Ayo. And then 21? Audio Theater. Audio Theater. And I have Which Gold in 21. I felt like Audio Theater, kind of similar to what you do with Red Wave. I like watch some videos. And, like, mm -hmm. it's not consistent, but, like, they do have a good quality that they play with. Like, if they can clean up some, I, I like, they, I feel like they could do well. Fair. Um, I think that's so. fair. I, I mean, obviously, when you're looking at these groups that don't make it past prelims, you're going to see a lot of inconsistency just across the board. It's just the nature of the activity and why they're in these bottom slots. Consistency is the name of the game. We've said it on here a million times, and... I could fully see, which is why I feel like it's really hard to predict this lower 10 groups or the non-semis groups because of the consistency issue. You might find a video that's like, eh, it's not that great. And then you see one from the next weekend and be like, is this the same drum line? Like what, what happened? Right, right, exactly. Did you all um, eat your Wheaties in the morning? Like what, uh, what caused this? So don't take any of this as the gold standard. I mean... I will say I will say we'll talk about this when we get to the semis groups. I have MBI in semifinals, obviously, but let's see. What do you want to? Um, I could very well admit, acknowledge I might have gotten Blue Knights very wrong. I only found one video of them, and I was somewhat impressed with the level of playing. So I said again, not really based on show design, but based on there's some good sounds happening, some consistent roll quality here and there. Like I could see them being towards the top of the prelims groups, like this. 
Um, and obviously, you, you have them in semis, so you might think the same thing to even a further extent in terms of, right. of that ensemble. Um, let's see. Thesis, we're on the same page. So I have gold in 21, and you've got them in 25. I think I know what you're going to say here, but why so low for them? When they beat um, – I think they beat Thesis – at the West Power Regional recently. Well, yeah, the, the unfortunate thing for both Audio Theater and Gold is like where they go mm-hmm. to. They're real early on in round one. Um, like Audio Theater mm. goes on second right after Powell. That's a good point. And then you have a, a string of RCC Flux United right before, <clears throat> right before Gold. So it's like, ah, uh, like Gold's gonna follow like, three good groups, and you're like three good groups, yeah. <laughs> So I didn't take that into account. That's a really good point. And it sucks that order of performance and prelims really can't affect it that much, but it's just a reality. I, I mean, mean, yeah, I, I have, <laughs> if gold. you're like a, if you're like a, a teetering finalist or a teetering, teetering semifinalist and you like go right next to a perennial medalist, it's like, it's going to be a, a stark <clears throat> contrast right? for the judges. Um, so it's ironic though. I have gold in 21st. For the opposite reason that I had uh, Red Wave in 24th higher than you. Gold is because of their show, not because yeah. of the playing. I, okay. I unfortunately, and not to, I, I don't think Gold is, I don't think they play as well as like Blue Knights or Thesis, but I think their show is better. Okay. Just on yeah. the surface level reads the couple times I've seen it. Um, again, these prelims groups that we think are going to make it, we haven't seen them as much. It's only the internet. It's a crapshoot. Yeah. We're not actually putting scores down. Correct. So we'll see. Also, how the... I think I think an important perspective to have is like, you know, we're just we're just watching the show. Yes. So like, how groups will compete when you're within a single caption and that judge is judging you on only music, on only vis effect, on only vis performance. Like, that's like incredibly different than just sitting down and taking in the totality of a show. Like, oh, I'm just watching the show i'm not trying to judge captions so that i mean yes. that stuff's gonna have a significant difference it's gonna just... play a big big factor right all right you want to talk about any of these groups down here or you want to move on to semis groups no nah, we can keep pu- pushing all right who you got in 20th 20th place infinity two infinity two i have dark sky in 20th 19 i have dark, I have dark sky in 19th there you go and i have infinity two in 19th I kind of flip flopped a lot of these groups. Like I, too. it's funny. I had Infinity Two in Dark Sky switched like you did, and then right before we got on here, I watched the videos because I was waffling. I was like, I was like, ah, I could see Infinity Two shows coherent. It's mm-hmm. very surface level. It's a pirate show. It's pretty yeah. entertaining to watch. I think it's going to play well to to like to the basic WGI audience, which is going to help affect. I think it's going to come off well in the arena. Um, I, Dark Sky is a group that, that I, I'm indifferent about their show. If I'm being totally honest, like it's, yeah, did, it's an show, interesting show, but it's interesting. The oboe is an interesting texture for uh, texture for, for indoor percussion. For yes, me. there's some yes. interesting things. Um, sorry, that's green. I'm trying to move everything around, <laughs> but yeah. I agree. Yeah, I, I, Infinity Two. I almost forgot about them. They were one of the last groups that I like watched to try and rank this, and I was like, "Oh yeah, they ended up making semis last year." I need to give this a real look. Like, don't write them off. And then I watched it, and I go, "Okay, yeah, they're going to beat a lot of these groups. They're they're solid. Um, they they play well. I th- I'd probably put the clarity of the battery on a pretty even playing field between Infinity Two and Dark Sky in terms of level of achievement and like sound they produce." I think that Dark Sky's content would probably be above like what they're asking them to do is a That's... little bit more beefy or I don't want to say I don't use the term world class, but a little more elevated than what Infinity Two is. Doing. Hearing you say that, um, I probably tend to agree. And honestly, thinking about it now, I probably would like to switch this two to agree with you. But we're not going to cheat. That's what I put yeah, down. We're going to stick with it. We'll see how it plays out. Eighteenth. Um, Vigilantes. Vigilantes. Yes, okay. Uh, I have MBI in 18. Okay. 17. Uh, Blue Knights. 
Blue Knights. So basically, you were higher on Blue Knights than me in the exact flip of like I was higher on MBI than you to like the same degree. Um, yeah, I, there's not a ton of BK content out there, but like some of the stuff that I have seen similar is like they make good sounds. Like, you know, fair. I do think that there is like credence in groups who have made finals before. Like, they just they understand how to finish the season well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I, I agree with that. But Blue Knights have been, this is not their first rodeo. They've been here many times before. Uh, I think there's a lot to say about that. But again, I have them as low as I do. I'm fully prepared to have that a million I mean, times wrong. Clearly, we're both like on some of these groups, like very spitballing here. Yeah, like shooting a, a from the hip. Vast, pretty vast dichotomy of myself. So. Yeah, we'll have a lot more. Um, informed opinions once we get into the finalist groups i feel like uh so but vigilantes was an interesting one i feel like we need to talk about that well before we do that i have mbi a lot higher than you i almost for the same reasons you do for blue knights they i i slept on them last season uh, i got them very wrong if i remember correctly they finished a lot higher than i thought i think they made semis last year too um i could be wrong about that but i didn't oh, i'll look. check it later but um I watch them and, you know, they're just in Minnesota, just playing roles. Like they're just, <laughs> they just, it's had a good mature sound that I felt was a more consistent sound than infinity Two, dark sky gold thesis this year. Um, so I said, you know what, I'm going to take a shot here, take a risk. It's almost like you're making your bracket for the NCAA men's basketball tournament. It's like, I could see this happening. I'm going to take a shot. And if it works out, it's going to help my overall like bracket basically, if I'm right here. So right. the show right. was nothing special. It didn't strike me as anything standout, but it was like a solid indoor show. There was nothing bad about it that I was like, that's not good. It was solid. The sounds were pretty good. So I said, okay, we're going to take a shot here. I'm not going to sleep on them this year like last year, and we'll see if they can. They did make semis last year, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, I'll bet on them to run it back and nice. do it again. Right. Uh, Vigilantes... Ah. We can talk about them for a minute. I, I was kind of I did I hadn't I literally had not seen a single video of them until this morning, all year, and I was a little taken aback. Well, yeah, I remember seeing them in person. Was that twenty twenty two? I think we saw them in well, person the last two years, three no, and two. Well, but I remember like they, like I, we rolled up and it was one of the first groups we saw on the lot, and we we're like. Man, these people are drumming. Yes, like, very well. Throwing down. Um, you know, I think a lot of like that kind of UNT Rennick flavor, uh, at least approach to the drum balance blend um, for the battery ensemble. And I was just like, okay. Like they basically, I think, played themselves into finals. Oh, like, yes. The show they, both was... years they've had success. They played themselves into finals, in my opinion. The show was nothing special, but yeah. they just drummed their ass off. Yeah. Um, made finals back-to-back -back years, 22 and 23, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then, yeah, like I saw a video of them. I was like, this feels less than that. So Yeah, it I seems like a step backwards. Maybe they had a lot of age outs last year, and they're trying to rebuild and, like, replace, so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. I almost want to switch them with MBI now that we're talking about it, and I'm thinking back to the video. I wish I had... Because MBI was the last group that I put in here and inserted somewhere. I wished I'd gone back and watched the Vigilantes again and been like, all right, let's get a back to back here and see what yeah. I want to do. I feel really? like I'm going to, I feel like they might finish lower than 17th now that we're talking about it, but we'll see. All right, who you got in 16th? First group out of finals. And I had them in finals, out of finals, in finals, out of finals uh, is Rhythmic Force. That is the same group that I have in 15th. Um, and I also understand, too, that, like, you know, Vigilantes, like, just beat Rhythmic Force at, yes. like, their local circuit thing. But after watching both those groups back to back, I don't really know how. Um, I'm confused, too, about the same thing. I think that Rhythmic Force has an approach that is world class finals like approach and like a consistency right. i think the way you and i put it because we discussed this we didn't say where we put rhythmic force on our list but we talked about them while we were setting up to record and both of us just said they have what seems like and comes off as a consistent approach across the board 
especially like, in like the performance captions like yes music and mm -hmm. visual performance it's very uniform across the ensemble the snare line all looks the same the quads approach the drum the same way like the basses, like it just came off world class yeah it came off like potential finalist level of approach to the drum and the way they march around the floor and the whole show it just came off well so um all right on the same page there let's break into finals here 15. when we get after we say sixth we should skip to third and go third three to one i'm okay with that that way and then we'll come back to four or five i'm completely okay with that all um, right cause 15. I think it'll be because if we just go all the way it'll it, like you know it won't be any surprise no yeah fully agree um all right 15th place i have connexus connexus okay which, if you are at home keeping records or listening, um, there's obviously a group that we neither of us have named that will be a first-time finalist. Yes. Well, I just named them in my 15th spot. Oh, you so. did. 15th. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't hear you say yeah. it. No, I yeah. didn't say it yet. You were talking, so I, I was like, Flux oh, wait a 14th, so you can go ahead and throw them in yeah. there if you want. I mean, we are both very high on Flux. We both got to watch the West Power Regional, and I think I watched Saturday and you watched Sunday, whatever it was, or vice versa. I don't remember. But right. – we both were talking afterwards and said they were the standout group of the regional to us. We we're pleasantly supply surprised Surprise for sure. Yes. Yeah. And they're doing really good stuff this year. I will say after doing a little bit of homework on them for these predictions, I think they're riding, they're going to ride into finals on the concept of clean wins. They don't have the hardest drum book compared to some of these other groups that are around them in terms of content. For the battery, at least. I don't know about the front. Um, but in Drumline Land, to me at least, they're not playing the hardest stuff in the world, but they're playing it really well. Well, the show makes sense. It's easy to follow. Um, it's got layers to it, where the way they kind of peel with the uniforms and the colors of the circles, and um, they can hide different colors and reveal different colors. I mean, it's just... It's a well-done show. Um, yep. It makes sense. Like, the show is not going to think hurt them you know like some yep. like some shows and so to keep going we have these two flip-flopped i have connexus in 14th um, my thought process here putting them over flux was based on content i think connexus plays plays pretty well i think connexus outplays their show design outperforms it i think they play at a higher level than the show is designed from a competitive standpoint this year um i found a lot That's of video how I feel about my 13th place group so uh, yeah, so, I mean, who do I, I bet we have the same group? We'll see in a second. I bet we do. But I just feel like the members play really well. And I wanted to say, I want to be consistent and just say, Flux's show might be a little more competitive and designed more to get more points. But Connexus plays fairly well, almost as well as Flux does, but they're playing more stuff. And that's what that was the difference maker for me. So, was your your thought process kind of the opposite? Flux is sure. Yeah, carry I just them. think that. Yeah, I just think they're gonna it, they're gonna present it cleaner. Yeah, it's, I could very well be a, wrong a very, on this, and would it'll be, be a mad. very digestible product. Um, it was very like fresh, a, very refreshing the when they came on the floor in that yeah. regional. Yeah, so I would be totally fine getting that one wrong. All right, thirteen. See if we're the Atlanta same. Atlanta Quest. Atlanta Quest. You have them lower than me. Uh, 13, I have Cap City. Okay. So, I have Cap City where I have them because I'm not, I think, I, I like their show this year more than last year. The, the last year was the Lions show, right? The Lions and stuff. Uh, no, that was 22. What was their show last year? Oh, I'm blanking. Right? I'm blanking too. Uh, Cap City 2023. It was the mother show, wasn't uh, it? Last year, the show last year, they did all the like kind of um, church music and stuff. Take me to church. Oh, you're right. It was the church show. Jeez. When you do this long enough, years run together. Um, yep. Yes. So I think I like – there's just moments when I watched their most recent run on YouTube. I was like, it just doesn't sound that great. It just didn't sound that clean. And I said, once you're getting to this point of world-class finals – you got to play clean. You yeah. Have to. I know that I mean, that team will, again, another reason that I, I have Cap City in 12th, but I put them ahead of Quest. I think that the show is going to carry them a little bit more. I think the show's 
more in depth. It's more nuanced. It's more intellectual. Um, that I can agree with. That I can get on board with. That was like the exact reason why I put Atlantic Quest. Like Atlantic Quest will play like a top ten group, but yes. I think the show is gonna hold, hold them, them back. back. Yeah. Um. It's it's just it's a vibe. Unfortunately, unfortunately to me, it feels one dimensional. It's a vibe um, for sure, but it, yeah. there's not a whole lot of depth to it. On this, from an as an audience member taking it in, I can agree with you on that. Um, I just wasn't super impressed with what Cap City was doing, which is why I had them in thirteenth. I just, I say that they're still a finalist. They're good. They're not going to be in finals if they're not good. But right. I, the whole thing where they play on the drums, what what really it did while, it for where me? They played on the skeleton thing. That's what <laughs> I'm. Go, what's where I'm going to? They have like those shellless drums. Yeah, it just didn't sound good. The video that I watched, the funniest it's just like... part about that to me is when they jump to the gut edge on those shells. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's there's just, no guts. I get what they're doing conceptually for the show. It fits. It makes sense. It just didn't sound good to my ears when they oh. get to that part. So we'll see. It's a, That's my personal opinion. That's subjective, obviously. We'll see if the judges disagree or agree, and we'll see where they end up landing. But I, I think they will for sure be in finals. I don't think there's any question in my mind. Cap City won't be in finals. Um, 12, I have... This one I'm fully prepared to be incorrect on, but I did it anyway because fuck it. Uh, I have Matrix in 12. <laughs> Dude, I almost put Cap City ahead of Matrix. Uh, I'm I, not going to lie. I could see um, it. I, I, I debated that. Um, you know, like the people could be like local circuses. Uh, I get that. Like they, in, I don't know. I just the Matrix show for me is the same show that they did last year, but uh, instead of like I can lights see it. and I, hearts, I see what you're saying. TVs and I don't know, man. It's just I think that that show has the potential to get picked on by the right visual effect judge. <laughs> So, on that in that same vein, I don't say right or just by a particular like if somebody, it could easily be harped on like these I, transitions are. Well, it's the transitions and it's distracting. If you've seen their show before, and I'm gonna, I'm going to give them a big compliment here in a second, so nobody get angry at me. But they're already angry. I don't care. For me, it is. It's distracting. They move everything all the time, and it's like they, they do the best I feel like they can with the lights and the staging setups to, like, draw your eye here to the to side two as an audience member to, the, to your right. But then there's, like, they're moving marimbas and props and stages and things to stand on on the other 75% of the floor all the time. So you're right. If they get the right Vish Effect judge, that that judge is not going to be able to get over that. Or the wrong Vish, Vish, Vish Effect judge, for example. Right. They're going to harp on that the whole time be like, I'm trying to watch this moment unfold, but there's 18 things moving on the rest of the floor that are completely distracting me. I think that could bite him in the, bite him in the butt and really yeah. hurt them. Um, I will say, here's the compliment. I think they play a lot better this year than they did last year. I said it the first time uh, I, I saw them. Yeah, I think they drum better. I think they play cleaner. Um, so kudos to the members for that, for achieving at a higher level, to my ears at least, from what I've seen and heard. Um, I do think they play better, so good for them. And because of that, if they get the right Vision Effect judge, they could finish well above 12th. So who knows? We'll see. Um but I was one of those people that was very distracted a lot watching the show. And I was like, I just, there's a chance this does not come off well. So we'll see. Eleven, who you got? I have Matrix. Matrix. Okay. And then I have Atlanta Quest in Eleven. Because I think they drum immensely better than Matrix, Cap City, Connexus, and Flux. I think they're playing content on par with the top ten. Well, from a from a book standpoint, I think the sound quality is very high level. I agree with you. They probably play better than they probably play like in about eight. Yeah, nine, seven. So <laughs> I met in the middle. I'm like they play on a top eight level, but the show, I agree with you. I think is going to hold them back. I think it's very one dimensional. It's very surface level. It's a vibe. It's fun. If you turn your brain off and just enjoy drumming, it's fun. 
But it, from a competitive yeah, standpoint, fun to listen to. Yeah, from a competitive standpoint, I don't know how well it's going to play with the judging panel. Personally, we shall see. Yep. All right, ten. GMU. That's who I have in ten. I feel like we might agree on the next few, but we'll see. Both have GMU in ten. Uh, I don't think they got as consistent and clean as they would have wanted to by this point in the season. There's some recent videos you can find in the lot, and there's still some stuff flying. Yeah. Um, I know that those those guys teach and have stood in front of lines and cleaned some of the best drum lines in the world. I mean, those 2019 crown batteries, one of the best batteries I've seen. Yep. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, it, I think some of the things that'll, that they're doing will land. It, it'll just depend. And really, we're starting to get to the point now to where it's just – I, I'm there's less negatives and the groups that I have ahead. I just think they're better. Yeah. It's I not GMU is not in 10th because they're bad. It's because, because the groups ahead of them yeah. are just really good. Yeah. Now and we're starting to get into like, I just think this group's better than them. I just I think, think this, this show's going to compete better. I think it um, comes off. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nine. Pal. That's who I have in nine. I think pal's having a really good year. Yeah. I think the show's it's, digestible. It's I think the show's very digestible. Um, I think you might have said this in a text group recently, and I agree 100% with it, and it's that I wish Pow had like 10% more velocity in the snare line when they hit the drum. Yeah, well, just the battery in general. Yeah. Um, like, it's so – it sounds great, and it sounds like it's clean. Like, they're playing really well. Um, and this is probably my own – east coast bias which i'll fully recognize but i'm like i just wish it was just a little more like mm -hmm. like just a little more punch yep i agree 100 percent. seems like we're on the same page um eight yeah this is gonna be wild uh my eighth place group is united that's who i have in eighth <laughs> All right. please tell us we're not just going to agree on the rest of these i mean i know the tops are not going to be exactly i promise we did not discuss i finished my rankings a minute before we got on the discord call to record this so we did not uh, talk about this ahead of time again a united you know we just talked to the team i think they're going to do really well i think some of the vocabulary and the demand in the book could potentially lend itself to like i don't know how how well is it going to read like as a battery full ensemble mm -hmm. we'll see um you know, the video that I saw of them has been a while back. It was like March 24th. So it's gotten a lot better than since then. I feel like there's a video more recent and I was just kind of, I, I, I love the way they approach the drum. You heard us talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. in, yep. in, when we sat down with the staff, I just, there's still too much stuff kind of like with the GMU thing. Like there's just too much stuff flying for me, too many ticks flying here and there or like missed attacks or just small stuff that I feel like is going to prevent them from finishing higher. Seventh place. All right. You go first this time. Uh, I have Monarch in seventh. I have infinity in seventh. Interesting. Okay. This is kind of surprising. We're very different on infinity. We need to talk about this. So, we're not very different. I mean, I well, six. I, well, you'll see where I have infinity. I have infinity higher than six, so we'll see. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> At this yeah. point in the rankings, it's pretty different. You know, when you're splitting hairs like this. For, I have um, monarch and six. But... You've got monarch. We'll just go ahead and fill that in. You have monarch and sixth. Yep. And then we'll after this, we'll we'll jump to third. But I'm gonna put my infinity up in fifth because I want it to be suspenseful. Who I think they're gonna jump this year. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's talk, let's talk about monarch first, though, and infinity. Um. Why Monarch in six over Infinity? Go. I mean, I think just the totality of what they have is a little bit better at Monarch okay. as far as, like, the consistency of the clarity, um, how transparent that show is, um, and how digestible it is on a first read is... I, I think some of that stuff is important, you know, because there's, there's shuffling that happens from night semifinals to finals but generally not like a ton yeah, um typically not but uh because it's the same panels mm -hmm. so i i just think that what monarch is proving and showing is better that's fair i think i think I that's think valid clean, i think they're clean is better obviously. uh 
Yeah, Monarch <laughs> plays really well. Um, so I was fully prepared to put Infinity in sixth and not jump any of the top five. I think Infinity Show for me is really good. I'm I I like Infinity Show a lot. I think it's going to help them competitively this weekend. Um, I think they're going to do really well with it. Monarch Show have... also is very good. There was a video actually that has like 50 views that went up from I think Monarch's like friends and family show or whatever, where Taha is just talking about how the show came about to whatever audience that the friends and family shows out there. I'm a huge fan of Monarch this year. I think they're going to be very happy with where they end up. I mean, a- anybody that ends up in the top 10, you can't be mad. Like, you're a top 10 group in the world. Like, right. it's, it is, you're all great at the end of the day. I don't want to get all participation trophy on here or whatever, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> right. I, I waffled. I really debated about four, five, six, and seven when I was, because I did the top I... 10 for, I did the top 15. When I made my mm-hmm. rank, I did the top 15 first. Then I worked my way down, basically, of where I figured groups were going to figure out land. And then I would go find content for them, refresh my memory, move things around, shuffle. I just So here's, what, here's why I put Infinity up in fifth. I watched a video, and I hate having to start that statement with, I watched a video. Because obviously, things can translate better or worse, depending on where the mic's at, the listening environment, the gym, or outside... But it was it was an indoor video. It was a standstill, mind you. But they've gotten a lot cleaner. If that video is an indication, I think it's from their friends and family show. They do it the like, like a couple days ago or whatever before okay. they leave for Dayton. Some of that shit sounds good. Like good for them. they write similarly to and that was my gripe when we did our we were talking about it wasn't predictions obviously, but it was I made the statement. I don't think Infinity would be able to get clean enough to jump anybody in the top five. Um, (laughs) I watched that video and I said, I think they might have gotten clean enough to jump somebody in the top five. So I'm putting the weight. I fully agree with you on Monarch show. And I'm fully prepared to have egg on my face if Monarch finishes higher than seventh. Because I I love their show too. Infinity show is more of my cup of tea, personally, but that's subjective. Um, I think Infinity is playing very well, if that video is any indication. There were two videos, actually, that I found that were recent. And I was like, wow, they've gotten a lot better. Um, so After we finish, there's another... I mean, I had like a, another list that I was just looking at it. And I was like, well, if this happened, that'd be wild. But like, because my 5, 6, 7 were originally different. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll just share that at the end. All right. So do you want to go to first and work our way back down now? Um, before we get into the curveball, before I say who I think Infinity is going to jump. Yeah, before. let's go top to bottom because I think that if I know anything about our just general conversations, our one and two are probably about the same. Pulse is first. I have no Pulse question first. about it. And RCC is second. RCC second. Yep. Um, you know, at this point, too, it would just like – like I just wouldn't be able to not put Pulse in first for you myself. Can. If you've been paying attention all season and been following them since January – and just look at the recaps from the California regionals all season. They've dunked on everybody. Like yeah. it's it's been like multiple point spreads between RCC and Broken City from them. Like it, I mean, they're gonna win. Just give them the gold medal, in my opinion. I, I mean, hope- I don't think it'll be like a runaway, like it has been all year. Like I think other groups are catching up to them. I like I don't think they're gonna sweep all the captions, you know. Yeah. But I, there's I just there's no way I could not put them in first. Yeah. So. Nobody else gave me a reason from what I've seen and heard to put them over Pulse. And that yes, just is that, what it is. That statement cracks. So um, I'm going to say about RCC before, as we keep going, their show is the reason and their music package is why I have them in second. I think their show is paced really well. That carousel, sh- it's just, it just holds your attention some of the visual stuff they do with the balls bouncing around and things and like it's just cool. I love it. It's until engaging. the very end. Isn't, I don't yeah, don't, yes. they, don't they end it with a bunch of narration or something? Yeah, like, I don't like, like the ending and I have a yeah. note on here. I like, like the ending endless. last year's show was really good and like it felt genuine. I don't know. This one is like I don't, just don't need it all. This like, seems need, like the ending they put it on there cuz a judge might have been like 
your idea is not obvious enough. And they were like, fine, we're going to put all these words at the end that basically make it impossible for you not to know what the show's about. Yeah, that's just my... Yeah. I have a note on my iPad that I have my predictions on. It says, this ending needs to change. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wrote. I put them in second and I was like, I love everything they're doing except the ending of the show. But again, subjective. Others might love it. Um, I will also say, I don't think they're the second best or the second cleanest battery. Their front is really good. Their front ensemble seems phenomenal. But yeah, I don't think that I don't think they're the cleanest bat like just ensemble or like second cleanest ensemble either. No. Um, and we can talk I, about PA rankings group, when we're done here, insane. but okay, do you want to go to third now and keep going or do you want to do it go Ron back to five? Medalist. And I I had this group in third out of third in third in fifth this was tough for fourth. me too this was uh, i rearranged all of these three four five six a lot i put rhythm x in third bold um i think that they're just gonna play great I, yeah, even I know, though i knew that was gonna no be your argument freaking videos of them playing anywhere which is another i'll probably have to talk about that at the end of the year and go on a rant but <laughs> I, I just think that the keyboards, especially the marimbas, are really mm -hmm. good. And I think the batter is just gonna they're just gonna play well. Like yep. they're gonna play great. We're gonna you're gonna sit in the stands and be like, Wow, that was You're gonna hear them that play and be like, clear. Yeah, that sounds different than when everybody else plays. Yeah. I fully agree with that, but I'll defend my standpoint here. Oop, as I punch my mic. Um I'll defend you can still hear me, right? Yep. Okay. I didn't make sure I wanted to Okay. Broken City is who I have in third. <laughs> okay. So, it's for it's the show. I think their front ensemble's good. I think they're it's the best quad line they've ever had. I think uh, they do. A, there's a lot of very cool musical effect moments throughout that show. Visually, it's easy to read. Um, I do not think they are in any way, shape, or form the third cleanest ensemble out of <laughs> like that top tier. But yeah. I'm I'm giving them what I've deemed the Broken City bump here. <laughs> I think they're going to pull it out of their ass. I'm kind of being a cynic a little bit. Yeah. And just like, they somehow come into Dayton and always sound better than I think they're going to sound from watching videos all year. Even if they're not great still. Even if they're not like piss clean or incredible. It always comes off to me better in person. And so I'm taking a page out of previous year's playbooks where I've ranked them lower and been and had egg on my face and been like, wow, I should really give them more credit because the judging community seems to always do that. Um, I think the way they design their shows, the judging community as a whole on the aggregate is very much a fan of. I think it plays very well in the effect categories. Um, I, yeah, I, I mean, I waffled again. I do three, four, five, six went all around as I yeah, was let's thinking just, about we'll, this. We'll, we'll just fill in at this point and then I have okay. a couple things I'll say too. Four. Um, I have MCM. Uh, I have Rhythm X in fourth. And then I have Broken City fifth. Broken City fifth. Uh, and then I have MCM in sixth. Dude, at one point, so here's what I'll go back and say. At one point, my five, six, seven, I had Infinity, Monarch, and Broken City in seventh. And I looked really? at it, I was like, I was like there's just no way this could happen. No, probably. again, it's the Broken City um, bump. They, they but, like, honestly, so you mean, when you're talking about the show, like, I... First of all, I think that they're less consistent playing wise than well, all those other groups. That's always in inherent group. in the design. But um, the way the book is written is just written less. Con I mean, it just is what it is. Yeah, like I just think that they it's straight risky up as shit. more. Um, but, and then also, I, I think that there's some issues with their show this year that they could have changed it. I haven't seen it in a while. I mean, I saw it at the Fullerton or whatever West Regional it was in California. And, you know, the way they move the props is kind of clunky. The way they interact with the props is kind of clunky. Like, the props themselves, I'm like, what are these? Are these supposed to be, like, books, like, like that are Fair. skeletons of themselves? Like, I think it has vulnerabilities. I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, so, I would agree with you on the vulnerabilities in the snare line. I think... Of, out of all their subsections, I think the snare line's the least consistent. 
think the bases are a little inconsistent too, or at least they were. I put my money on show design, music effect, quad line, and front ensemble. Com- in complete transparency, um, I could be completely wrong, and they get I mean, seventh, yeah, sixth. Just, I, there's, there be, is just be a wild war- if they were seventh. I don't think they'll be seventh. They'll be higher <laughs> I don't than think that. They'll they'll be seventh, to but... me, there's too much effect baked into the show design to be seventh place. Like, there's yeah. too many moments where you're like, "Whoa, that was really cool," or like, "What the hell was that?" Like, they're masters of that, and. On the right night, that risky book clicks, and they hit some of those moments, and you're on the edge of your seat, and you're like, wow, that was sick. So I I do like them more than I have the last few seasons this year, so I kind of went with it and said, I'm just going to stick with the Cali 1, 2, 3, um, because I'm not a huge fan of For the Mexico Show. Again, grain of salt, I've only, I haven't seen it on the floor since like the like, most recent floor video, I think was in like KU three weeks ago or something, like three or four weeks ago. And knowing that ensemble and design staff and, and like they've changed a lot. I'm sure they've added stuff, tweaked things. Um, I could see them getting third and being right where you put them. Because I do think if I was saying where I think groups are going to end PA wise, I think pulse will get first in the achievement category musically. I think X will get second. And then I think I, um, I could also see MCM being third. Like, yeah, I, I was gonna say like MC, three if, through three through seven, three through eight. I was like, wolf. So I was uh-huh. on the MCM third and PA train, and then I saw some recent videos in the lot just standing still, and I was like, there's a lot of ticks there still. And again, small sample size. We're not there every weekend. It could have been a weird day. Could have been who knows, but. <laughs> I just, it kind of how Infinity, that last minute video I saw, really impressed me. And then Mystique's video was like, maybe Infinity is going to play themselves ahead of Mystique. Because the show, I I, th- I think, and think Infinity, I like Infinity's show more than Mystique's show, personally. Um, I think Mystique's show's fun. I think it has some really cool moments. Uh, yeah, I don't know which one of those shows I like better, honestly. I, I would probably lean towards Infinity's show, but I think, I don't know, dude. It's going to be... We said it on the last podcast when we did our like mid-season thoughts. We, were, we both lamented. We were just like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for these predictions. Outside of Pulse winning, this is going to be... That's probably the only one that I feel like is... <laughs> I'm right. pretty confident in RCC getting second. Uh, yeah. I mean, they've been, they've been holding it down there kind of all season long. I just think their musical package is awesome. Yeah. The beginning just, of that show is great. It's sick. The first it's like just, three minutes. Yeah. Really good. Really cool. And you gotta give props to the the timpani solo at the end. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Playing timpani like quads. It's freaking awesome. Um but yeah, it's, yeah. I'm hyped. I'm excited to be wrong about all well, this. Then we can to laugh say, about dude, it. If somebody's gonna say, like, if somebody's gonna say this list like sucks, I'm like, well, you should put your own list on there too, then. <laughs> yeah. Put, throw your name in the hat. Yeah, put your net, put your hat in the uh, arena. Hop in the, the game. Ring. Hop in the game here. Yeah, yeah. Where that's the fun with this. Like you and I usually just own. Like when we completely miss something, we're just like, yeah, yeah. yeah like that group was way better, or that group was way worse when we saw them in person. It just is what it is. Every um, year, there's people like they'll DM us or whatever. Like, oh, like this is gonna be so wrong. We're gonna like. I was like, I hope you do. Like, I great. You know. I want everyone to do as well as they possibly can, but somebody's going to be in thirtieth. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we're not going to be the ones that, and we're not going to be the ones to do it. Yeah, we won't be actually judging, uh, thankfully. So. But I do not envy the prelims judges, whoever they end up being. I do mm-hmm. not envy them. This is going to be a tough year. I think it's a tough show. I think it's going to be a tough year to get this right. Um, I think a lot of groups are very close to each other at the different levels of the independent world class and uh, quick question i know rcc beat broken city at the last at scpa whatever was there a show last weekend right there was a show yesterday wasn't finals was as it was scpa finals did they do their prelims and finals a week apart or are they yeah. like saturday okay so yeah, i they, think they, prelims they yesterday rcc and broken city were like neck and neck unless um, i misread something or i'm misremembering they won by point five seven. RCC yesterday. beat them by half a point? Yeah. Okay. I think last weekend they were pretty close. Last week and prelims, it was... 
I can't wait to have be completely wrong. I'm looking at the wrong tab. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the wrong. One. I, I must have just clicked on the exact same thing again. That was dumb. Um, Broken City. They tied. <laughs> that's what I thought. See, I told you. We're confident about RCC being second, and then Broken City ties them six days ago. Like, I could see Broken City getting bronze. We're not high on extra show this year. Mystique ticks more than I thought they did at this point. Infinity, I don't think, will outplay those three California groups. Like, I could see it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I could see a lot of things unfolding, you know. I could see... I think there's a path. There's a narrow way. <laughs> there do. is a way. There's a narrow way. I see all future possibilities at once. Um, Doctor Strange over here. Freaking Paul Moadiba Trades. Let's go. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Um, there you go. More relevant. <laughs> uh, but great, you know, I think movie. there's a lot of scenarios that can unfold, and we'll come back to this and just kind of laugh at it. So. Yep. That's the fun about all this. We come back to it after finals weekend, and we go, "Wow, we're either really smart or we're really stupid." So we will post uh we'll post the full list and then we'll we'll revisit what we how bad we were off. Yep. All right everybody. You want to talk about anything else before we end this? I'm ready I'm ready to hang it up. I got some right. topics after the seasons. Cool, done. cool. Everybody, if you see us in Dayton, I think we might put out our power reaction video before finals. We'll see in the next day or two. Um either way, if you see us in Dayton, we'll be there Friday, Saturday. Feel free to say hi. Say what's up. We're not uh, weird about that kind of stuff. We love it. So feel free. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share the video so your friends can make fun of us too when we're super wrong. Um, Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> Patreon, or the join button here on YouTube. And we'll see everybody in Dayton or after Dayton. Mm -hmm. Peace.